Scorpio welcome back to I Enigma Scorpio channel this is Enigma we're gonna do your January read let's see what's coming in and this is going to be um, a little timeless on the timeless side because yes time is fluid we can't fix things on one particular time because I'm gonna talk about love and I can go to extents beyond the limited time so yes and uh, this is going to be a general, so take what resonates and leave what does not resonate as usual. For more personals, I am there in the following details given below. And I also do white previous spells and we have crystals. For all these uh, things, you can reach out to me and you can check out my Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign. And I have my main channel where you can check out your sun, moon, rising, Venus in other signs than Scorpio as well which is I Enigma, and you can also check out Scorpio on my main channel, I Enigma. Don't forget to subscribe to both of these channels, and do share this video in the end on your WhatsApp status, so that more of the Scorpios can join our team and build a bigger community. Let's see, Scorpio, what's coming in. coming in for my beautiful Scorpio any messages hmm. for once wow right off the bat right off the bat oops okay I know what it is all about Okay, you have a lot of enemies coming into your life while you're making your way to the best of your uh, version. I feel like you're becoming a very powerful personality in the near future. Let's focus on the first three cards. I'm definitely seeing you becoming extremely successful. But majorly, I feel there's love coming in. More than money or success, any kind of like adventure, ambition being fulfilled. It's more about your love coming into your life. There will be an equal give and take. You guys are going to date a lot. And I feel like it's going to be immediate uh, eye contact and immediate connection, like love at first sight. So someone is definitely falling for you. This might be certain parts may or may not resonate because this is a general. So maybe this is too specific for someone and then it's too general for someone. So you can just take it easy. Okay, just enjoy the flow. What I am seeing over here, Scorpio, is that you definitely are attracting someone in your life immediately. I'm seeing before April, I'm seeing you being with someone. And you guys are going to exchange beautiful uh, memories with each other. You guys are going to hang out a lot. And a lot of people are going to observe that. Because a lot of people know that you have got you know bad choices in love or you've not been very lucky in love lately and people are like wow they've been like uh, thinking over you like they've been thinking like they're better than you so all of these misconceptions are gonna like wash away from their head once they see you this uh being in a relationship and living your dream life and getting together along and partying and you know doing your own thing i feel like you are about to enjoy your life to the full okay and i am seeing with the magician okay with the magician let me just remove all of these okay magician the empress and the lovers do you see there are three major arcanas in your in your uh, reading which means that your life is going to turn magically around and a lot of people are going to get shocked okay i'm seeing you might immediately get engaged and then married or you're about to meet your soulmate okay but the meeting is definitely happening when this meeting happens a lot in your personality in your lifestyle is going to change where you're going to definitely move towards your financial success faster you will be achieving more um, um, appreciation, success, awards or whatever you're like seeking. You're definitely going to achieve your goals faster when you meet this person. So it's like a lot of magic start to happen in your life. Like it's turning around with this person coming in. 
okay you have a gemini cancer libra aquarius coming in but there will be a lot of respect this person's going to respect you a lot you're going to respect them a lot you guys are going to hang out a lot and it's like you never expected this thing to happen so magically that even you're going to be surprised but you won't even have time to even think what's going on okay so i feel like uh you guys are going to do a lot of things together okay you guys will be hanging around together sharing each other's like secrets with each other and yes to an extent yeah as you all know and then you guys are going to be like shopping together you guys are going to be best of best friends and you guys are going to be best of best couples so it's like amazing like turn around in your life you never expected this is like the scorpio one of the biggest uh happiness is coming to you okay the one of the most unluckiest in love you guys are going to be blessed with the best okay so while this is happening in your life okay and i feel january is a period it's the starting point of your changes that these turning around like changes in your life january is starting a point for you when this happens i'm seeing people talking behind your back i'm seeing people trying to come between you and your love interest or you and your happiness i'm seeing a lot of red flags and deception from your own friends or family or circle i'm seeing a lot of people having an eye on your money i'm seeing a lot of people talking behind your back or trying to create mess in your life i'm seeing a lot of people acting like they're your friend but they're actually wishing you the worst i'm seeing a lot of people that you uh really cared about their true face going to come out and you'll be like f off i'm not interested in you so you're going to close chapter with a lot of negative people in your life okay and a lot of people that always were trying to you know drain you or put you down or show hatred they'll definitely fall you know flat on their face it's like a lot of things are going to backfire these toxic people around you okay there are a lot of toxic people around you that going to like they will never be able to affect you but they will definitely whatever they pass on to you will backfire on them so badly that they won't be able to disturb you in the rest of your time or in your life so let's keep it above so i'm definitely seeing a lot of people will also have an eye on your financial success or your professional success and they will be jealous of the fact that you are with such a great partner who's supportive who's loving who's caring and who has everything to offer you and this is also speeding up your uh, growth okay and you're becoming much more mature and you're a manifester in the coming time you see yourself as a powerful figure that can do anything and everything okay you put your hand on for a sorts wait for this time to come have patience it's time for you to literally weigh the pros and con of uh you know the situation in your life i feel like right now you have a 50% people or 50% situation that's negative in your life and 50% positive so some of you are like hung up between two things like some of you do get affected by certain situation or challenges coming in it's time for you to really filter out all those things like write it down like what all is happening in your life and what all do you need to ignore and what all do you need to focus and make short list those points and make make that your priority and read those points every day because i feel like if you're juggling between good and the bad it's time for you to rise and shine once you're off from this treadmill where you're juggling you're going to reach the point of success and it all comes with focus if you're not focused if you're still getting distracted by other people or what others are doing or saying or other things that are like side hustles or you know that's not even paying you that well okay it's time for you to focus on your own abundant life it's time for you to become the star it's time for you to shine through it's time for you to be like out there and show the best uh best of your version it's like you're updating yourself real soon you're going to figure out what is not working out for you and ignore all those things you'll be able to ignore certain things that you never had uh, the skill to um a lot of people are going to see you like uh someone that cannot be you know caught it's like you're someone can, that is like an eye candy and i'm seeing you're also appear to a lot of people like you're not reachable 
okay because your like moving fast and you're growing you're doing your own thing and you I'm also seeing you taking care of your skin your body your health but you definitely are the star power okay in your life you will be the star of your life so i'm also seeing there's an aquarius coming to your life but i'm also seeing you oh my gosh ten of pentacles you have to prepare yourself before this uh d-day before your marriage um, or before the true partner coming into your life true relationship being formed you need to really fix yourself and become more and more positive before this person comes into your life okay let's see what other messages do we have here then we have the three of swords knight of pentacles three of wands so clearly it's time for you to let go of the negative people I'm seeing there's a lady in your life that is too, uh, too uh, jealous and wants you not to be happy or you not to be popular, not to be growing. I feel they will definitely get their heart broken with uh, their own actions. I feel they'll try to super uh, superimpose you or like overpower you in certain situations, but nothing of it will be affecting you and you're going to cut the cords completely with this person for life and i feel once you do that they will be like getting the karma of their own bad deeds this could have been a libra gemini aquarius but definitely scorpio it's time for you to take those small baby steps towards the ultimate growth ultimate opportunities opening up for you and the bottom of the deck is ten of cups someone definitely doesn't want you to have that happiness in your life that could be someone of the same sex or a female a young female okay that is too jealous and wants to have a life like you but they cannot and so they what they do is they like end up sitting there and being jealous and watching you and do nothing the eight of swords you're going to block someone you're going to block someone okay okay this is another message guys so what i'm seeing scorpio while you're in this uh, urge of becoming the best and finding your true soulmate your past will try and make a comeback and when they come back you are going to block them and when you block them they'll feel extremely guilty and they won't be able to move on and i feel that's going to be like a big slap on their face and some of you if the situation is genuine then i'm definitely seeing you taking them back because they're coming with a completely new person but for most of you i'm definitely seeing that this is over and when you just close a chapter on this person's face you close the door on their face they're gonna feel extremely bad and guilty let us see what are they trying to say and that's when the revenge will be over and I'm not seeing you taking revenge, actually. It's just the karma doing it for you. Scorpio. I hide behind material things. Okay, your person from the past has been, like, checking on your previous chat. I feel like this person, they're too scared to con. Someone from the past is definitely scared to contact you. And I feel like they've been checking your previous messages, the conversations you guys have had. And they just keep on like scrolling and reading those messages and wonder like what you've been doing, what what you've been up to today. But they definitely want to contact you, but they can't. And I feel like this is a time where you're going to completely put an end to this. Most of you, okay? But I feel your person has difficulty expressing themselves. They have a lot of money, but they kind of not very skilled to you know put these two things in separate boxes money and emotions they think everything rules everything is ruled by money and when you left they understood that money is not the way to grab your attention it was love it was emotions and now they're staying up a, staying up late night and thinking about you they're so attracted they're still attracted and i've definitely seen them reaching out to you but you might close the chapter on them yeah that's what i'm strongly sensing for most of you oh there's one more thing that i'm getting is the reason why you guys just weren't you know going along could have been the reason um the third party coming between you and them there's a female like libra gemini aquarius 
putting all the negative stuff in their mind and creating that barrier, the resistance between you guys for a very few of you, okay? That might be the reason. And then poverty. Ooh, someone is like feeling so sad without you. Scorpio, it's time for you to focus on your money, okay? If you spend too much, you might feel like you don't have money or you don't have anything okay it's time for you to focus on your work and take care of your family and take care of your money these three things are something very 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 important let's see the love messages oh Some of you are definitely helping your family to come out of the financial crisis. That's a very, very rare situation, maybe because that's what I'm getting. But here, one thing is definitely for sure that this new love is your true love. Okay, and your family is going to be super happy because they will support not just you, but your family in pain as well. Okay, or whoever is linked with you, they're going to love that person equally. What else? Communicate clearly. I feel like most of your problems have come into your life because you have been inexpressive. For some of you, Scorpio, for some of you are really good in expressing. But for those who are not good in expressing, that's a message for you that when your new love comes into your life, they'd want you to be open and expressive about your true feelings and about your family and stuff like that. If you don't talk much, maybe they'd want you to talk more loyal heart this is a loyal connection i feel you guys are from the past life you guys are meeting uh from the past life or for some of you like i would say like 10 percent. this round and round is not for everyone okay this could also mean that the past is coming back and you guys are gonna like remarry or get married for lifetime but this is something that might be for some of you okay only if the situation was very very strong and powerful if you guys were not really strong with each other in the past i'm definitely seeing you going back would be the bad idea some of your person was too young but it's important for you to embrace this new love that's coming into your life it's going to give you nothing but true love the loyalty that you deserve all right Anything else? Scorpio. Okay, we got this. Wait. So allow nature to take its own course. Sometimes it takes time. Sometimes this is not the right time for you to, you know, meet the person or expect a relationship. Everything takes time. So let it develop. Let it blossom. Let it come on its own divine timing. Till then, you're definitely focusing on yourself. And becoming the po more powerful version of yourself. So that's about Red Scorpio. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. Share this on your WhatsApp uh, stories or any way you can. And also with your friends. I'll see you back again. Don't forget to subscribe to both my channels. All the details are given below. I'll see you again. Bye.